Hello, can you guys hear me now? Yes. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you. Sorry, I think I had I had problems with the audio. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Uh, good Hi, evening. good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hi, uh, Hi Wendy. I hope I'm fine. You? Good, good. How are you? How are you, Wendy? I am fine. A little tired. And... You're a little bit tired? <laughs> a yeah. little tired. Really? Only a, a little tired. Why? Uh, it's Monday. <laughs> oh, because it's Monday, yeah. But I get, get it. Yeah. yeah Vacation. Yeah. Vacation. <laughs> you want vacation already. For, and we, for, vac for vacation. <laughs> and we just and and we just started first day of class and you already want vacation. No. Uh, I say um, for the vacation I I tire. <laughs> Monday. <laughs> oh okay. I see, I see. I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay, got it. Okay, hello, Maria Elena. Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, but my day is not over yet. Oh, <laughs> and really? I have a little, little fun at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Um, that repeat daily. You have to repeat what? Daily. Oh, okay, okay. So you you have a very uh, tough day tomorrow. Yeah, is that right? You have a, a difficult day tomorrow. Yes, mm. I need to go to San Vicente City seven a.m. Oh, and where do you live? Maybe four, maybe four or five a.m. Okay. Well, where do you live? In Cuscatancingo. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's a bit far away. Yes. Yeah, wow, okay. Yeah, so you have a very long day ahead of you tomorrow. Yeah. And um, do you, are you going to be traveling by, by bus or by car? Mm, in car. Oh, I okay. need to write my job and let go with my partner um, 6 a.m. At 6 a.m. you have to arrive. Oh, wow. Yeah, very early. But only for tomorrow, or is that every day? Every day. <laughs> every day. Oh, yes. wow. Wow, that's 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 a long ways. Yeah, I I I understand why you're why you you're very tired. <laughs> yes, the difficult is the traffic in the afternoon. In mm. the morning is fast, mm -hmm. but then. Afternoon, very slow. <laughs> mm, I can imagine. Yeah. How how long does it take you to go back? Depends. Two hours or three. Two hours or three. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's a that's a long time. Yes. Sorry, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I understand. Well, uh, I appreciate your effort, Marie, Marie and then because um, in the end, I know that it's it's going to be difficult, like it's difficult and everything, but at the end, it's going to be worth it. You will, 
you will see that all of your hard work will pay off. You will see that. Yeah. So I I know it's it's difficult to be here so late, but you're doing it and you're going to see that it's going to be worth it at the end. Yeah, for sure. It's good. And I also have Manuel Palma, is that correct? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Um, how how was your day today? Uh, sorry. How was your day today? Ah, okay. Yes. Uh, a little little bit tired. <laughs> Tiring too. Yeah. Yes. Yes, but because um, for this day the. Uh, firstly, the traffic was heavy, and second, I I visited uh, many clients in my in my duties uh, of my work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I need to I need to visit uh, some some client in uh -huh. my uh, I don't know uh, in my list of duties for day. Mm, yes. Okay. But, okay. Uh, for for more uh, for size uh, is it's good to see it's good to, to be in the classroom. Yeah. It was I was waiting for <laughs> oh good good how long yes. did you guys have to wait for for the for the course to begin again? How long? Uh, 15, 15 days. 15 days. Okay. Two, two, so weeks. two weeks. Yes. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yes. Two weeks. Okay. Yes. Well, yes. It was, it was so, a nice break. I I I was uh, checking the previous class and the different uh, verbs and cons uh, in the construction some mm -hmm. uh, some sentence yeah oh <laughs> but, good uh, so you were working hard yes i i uh, not hard but i was uh, uh, uh great effort for for don't don't forget it good Good, good, excellent. That's that's always the best thing to do, right? So, um, yeah. So keep keep them um, busy, so that you um, don't forget, and you know, and and the time goes by quicker that way, right? If you are constantly working at it, yeah, that's good. Good, good for you. Yeah, I know it's it's not easy, but but you, I can tell that you you work hard. That's good. Yes. Excellent. All right. And also have Susana. Is that correct? Good evening. Good evening. Everybody. <laughs> How yeah. are you? I fine. Good, good. How was your day today? Um I working. Mm -hmm. uh, um I start at, at uh, seven p.m. seven a.m. Oh, okay. you started work at seven a.m. Yeah. on time on time my work. Uh huh. Ah, oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I'm so, fine. so yeah, it's it's been a it's been a long day today. Yes, I finished uh, at at four 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 p.m. But is uh, I in my case uh, I never <laughs> I never finish uh, four p.m. Uh -huh. But but is uh, otherwise uh, five or six p.m. I I oh really I work yeah. I am a, a accountant. Oh, okay. Wow. I'm accountant 
and it's a it's a uh, and, excuse me it's okay uh, in uh, I I'm in my work mm -hmm. uh, is a uh, finishing in the month mm -hmm. is uh, always a uh, but a uh, uh, working in mm -hmm. is a uh, in occasions and not I don't uh, is must difficult is a uh, for the how is on a uh, on Sí, sería on the camera. To have your the video. To have your camera uh -huh. on. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's in fin is in finish the month. But it's a uh, I working for, <laughs> uh, but it's a uh, it's a uh, working in the in the moment for class. The only uh, I so only listen the class. Uh -huh. Okay, it, sorry, I, I I'm not really understanding. Um, so, in you, occasion, uh -huh. uh, uh, I don't. Uh, is a I have no, I don't have a uh, the on the video. Okay. For the class, the the, the English class, uh -huh. but it's a uh, uh, I I I am uh, work in the moment. For especially is a finish the month. Okay, okay, uh -huh. so, okay. So so today will you have your your camera on? Yes. <laughs> today yes. Uh huh. Is the every month every every month, uh, for is especially is a finish the days. Uh, uh -huh. the month for is a closing uh, the accountant is a period the accountant mm -hmm. okay okay so uh -huh. every month when you finish um the the period of for the accounting yes you will you will but, not have uh -huh. a camera but on it's it. a uh -huh. it's a uh, 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 how do you say ¿Cómo es? Le, le, ¿cómo es? Le pediré permiso. I may, I, you will ask I'm for sorry. permission. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay, you will ask me for permission. Okay, okay. No problem then. Okay, so that way I, I, I know what's going on. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, excellent. And um, I also have Art, um, Arturo? Arturo de Leon? Yes. Uh, do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, I'm Arturo. Okay. I'm, it's, it's my first time here. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. I'm Excellent. happy to be here. Good. Good. Well, we're happy to have you. <laughs> that's excellent thank you thank, thank you, you for for choosing us you know to be able to help you through this experience um yes. How how did you choose um, English Corporativo? Well, I am uh, uh, I read a uh, 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 advertising uh -huh. in the in a social media. Yeah. And uh, 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 I I I think I uh, I choose uh, to is is inscribirme to. Uh, to subscribe or or better to better said to well to in this case it would be to register. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, uh, subscribe me in this class. Uh, I I talked uh, in my uh, human resource department in 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 my in my company, uh -huh. and uh, they give me a a, a chance uh, to subscribe me in the English corporativo to. to receive a, a class to improve my my english oh so they okay so they gave you a chance to register here yeah, that's excellent very good yeah. well we are very happy to have you 
Uh, thank so, you. Yeah, so I, I I hope you will um, enjoy your your um, your experience, so. right? And um, anything that you need, we will be here to help you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good, good. And I see I have a few more here. Um, hello, Norma, Norma Carolina. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good, good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you and to meet you as well. How was your day? I'm very busy, teacher. You but, had a busy day? But I am ready for your class. Excellent. I like I like to hear that. <laughs> Okay, very good, very good. Okay, and um eh, uh what was I gonna say? Um do you is this your first is, is it for your first uh, module or you have uh been studying many modules here? H have you studied many modules with English Corporativo or is this the first one? The question is for all, all of us. No, no, no. Uh, well, well, well. Yeah, yeah. Let's say. <laughs> oh, it's um, for Norma, <laughs> I think. It, it, yeah, it was yeah. for Norma, but but yes, um, but everybody to know. Yeah, also. Okay. Yeah. So. So Norma, you you Our mother's teacher. You've you've been here since <laughs> module one. Yes, teacher. Wow. First okay, so you you've been here for a while. Excellent, excellent, and you're almost finished. Yes. <laughs> excellent, yes. good for you. I'm... Good, good, excellent. And um, is Chris Christia? Is that correct? Yes, Christia. Okay, all right. Yes. And you you have been studying here for for quite some time as well. Uh, I've been studying here uh, since. Intermediate too, I think. Okay, yeah. so it's been a while. Excellent, very good, very good, excellent. And um, a, how when did you study before in another place? Yes, when I was a child, I studied in Prolingua. Oh, and, when a child. Then, Yes, but wow. right now I need to improve all my skills because I, I, I actually I I don't practice my speaking, mm -hmm. so I, I think I need to improve a lot. Mm. Yeah, well, mm. we always need to improve something, right? So, yeah, yeah. But, but good for you, good for you that you haven't finished, that you you continue yeah. studying. You know, because sometimes people say, "Oh no, you know." Uh, I already know the language, but no, but you, the truth is that you've can, you have to continue practicing, right? So that's great. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. All right. And there are a few people that I don't see their camera on, so I cannot see their faces. Uh, Manuel Palma, I think, turned off the camera. Jennifer Martinez, Sylvia Suleim, Suleima, and Mario. So if you guys can do me the favor, turn on the camera, wonderful. Hello, Mario. Oh, uh, I don't know hello, if it's- Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, now I, now I can hear you. Yes. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay, um, cool. Hi, I'm, uh, my name is Mario Valle, and uh, I'm glad to be here uh, uh, in in this module. I've been studying uh, within the corporativo. The, I guess this is my third uh, module. Oh, good. So I took the chance. So I I did the same from Arturo. I guess I I saw the advertising the social media. Oh, uh -huh. uh, uh, I saw for a few months, uh -huh. and I decided to take the decision to uh, try to learn a little bit more for the English because 
Um, actually, I'm working and uh, I'm working in the uh, chips agency. So okay. I usually uh, I have to speak English with uh, different people. So uh -huh. uh, the only thing that I, I said that I waste because I I've been working in this same company for uh, 11 years almost oh, doing okay. the same yeah and, and I'm waste my time because uh, indeed I have improved my English since I commenced since I started to work there uh -huh. I know that I have improved I know that uh, there is a much more that I have to learn and also improve yes, and, that's, and that's why that I decide to to do it because uh, because I, I guess I was my I wait my time because normally the the people uh, which I speak mm -hmm. they are not uh, much reliable in the English or they are, they are not native speakers. So mm -hmm. sometimes it's easy to speak with this kind of people when you know a little bit and they mm -hmm. know a little bit, mm -hmm. maybe you try to understand each other. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm in the, I'm searching or trying to, to find uh, another uh, job or another mm -hmm. opportunity and I think that it's it will be great if I have a, a better English and also I like the, the language so mm -hmm. and not, not only the English so there's a, a few more languages that I would like to, to learn yeah. and, and mm -hmm. that's the uh, this is why I commenced to uh, to study with English Corporativo. Oh, okay, good. Well, we're happy to that you you chose us, you know, and um, I'm sure that you're going to get very far. So that's excellent. So. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, right now, what I would like to do is um, to take attendance. So if you guys can do me the favor of everybody making sure that they have their, um, their cameras on. Okay. You guys can do that for me. Okay, so um, second, guys. Okay, so I have, yeah, everybody has their cameras on. Perfect. Okay, so um, just give me a moment here. I don't know why my, my computer is becoming really, really slow right now. So I'm going to open the Okay. Mm. It's coming. <laughs> we just have to be a little bit patient. Okay, got it now. Okay, so I have uh, Christian Nat Nathalie Eraso. Here, teacher. Okay, wonderful. And um, Delbert Arturo? I am. Delbert Arturo. Okay, wonderful. And uh, Diana Elizabeth. Diana Elizabeth. Sereguino Martinez, is that? She's not here. No, right? Okay. All right. Uh, what was the name? I just heard uh, the 
the, oh, the last okay. name. Uh, yeah, um, it's uh, Diana Elizabeth Sereguino Martinez. Okay, no, it, doesn't, it is not me. Okay, <laughs> okay, let's continue then. Um, Dian, uh, Jennifer Elizabeth. Yes, that's me. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, Jorge Humberto Bela Punes. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. No, dear. Manuel yeah, Antonio. I, I think he have uh, some issues with her, with his internet. Oh. Hello, uh, Jorge Vela. I think he just came back in. Jorge Vela, are you there? Okay. Uh, Manuel Antonio Palma? Present teacher. Wonderful. Present teacher. Oh, okay. Wonderful. There he is. Okay. Um, Maria Elena Guadalupe? Present. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, Mario Ernesto Belleda? Mario Ernesto Belleda? In here, okay. Mario Jose Valle. I'm your Mar teacher. Okay, good. Norma Carolina Villeda. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Um, uh, Romario Gamaliel Portillo. Present. Okay, wonderful. Silvia Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Wonderful. Susana Beatriz Ortiz. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Excellent. Okay, so just to make sure that I've got it correct, I don't see Diana, Diana Elizabeth. No, right? Diana Elizabeth. And I don't have Mario Ernesto Villeda. No. Okay. Bye. All right. Perfect. Okay, guys. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with um, second. Just a second, guys. Okay. Um, I'm going to start showing you the PowerPoint presentation. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. <clears throat> You guys see it? Yes. Yes, I can see it. Perfect. Okay, wonderful. Um, all right. So, um, so we have course in the English English for Work program. This is the Advanced Module Two, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero, which is me. Uh, it's today is March. 20th, 2023. So some things that we're going to we're going to talk about. Eh, we have the requirements here. First of all, tareas y evaluaciones. Vamos a cambiar a español porque esto requiere que lo hagamos en español para que sea 100% clarísimo eh, de lo que se espera de ustedes con sus tareas y evaluaciones. Primeramente es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones 
para poder eh, completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Eso significa de que ustedes necesitan cumplir con todas las tareas de evaluaciones. Las tareas, um, estamos hablando de que son los que um, de cada sección, ¿verdad? Hay tareas. Eh, normalmente hay una tarea después de, de cada video, ¿verdad? Hay una tarea. Entonces, um, eso es, hay que cumplir con ellos. Y también las evaluaciones. ¿Cuáles son las evaluaciones? Son los midterms, el midterm y el, y el final exam. Entonces, necesitamos un mínimo del 80% de sus promedios. Eh, realmente ustedes quizás pues um, ya sabrán que en realidad eso no está nada difícil de conseguir, ya que eh, lo, que se, lo que se requiere es que ustedes realmente trabajen en la plataforma porque la plataforma les da la opción de poder eh, continuar tratando los ejercicios, hacer los ejercicios una y otra vez hasta que ustedes lleguen al 100%, porque con cada vez que ustedes eh, intentan un ejercicio, aprende, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es, eh, por eso es de que es bastante fácil poder obtener el 100%, ¿verdad? Así que lo único que se pide que es un mínimo de 80%. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase, como les mencioné. Eh, pregunta, ¿hay alguien aquí que esté teniendo problemas con su plataforma? No, te okay. ok, perfecto. Eh, por favor, déjenme saber si hay alguien acá que, que no puede ingresar a la plataforma por X motivo. Okay. Um, seguimos, dice uh, todas las uh, tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Isapor semanalmente. Entonces empezamos ambos semana el lunes, ¿verdad? Eh, y por lo, entonces terminamos el viernes. Entonces por eso sé que para cada, eh, por lo casi, casi, para cada sección, va a ser eh, al final de, es, de, esas, de ese viernes, ¿verdad? De la, de la semana. Y porque eh, lo que sucede es de que, ah, como dice acá, semanalmente estamos enviando los reportes. Entonces, por ejemplo, el sábado por la mañana, yo estoy enviando el reporte, pero es tempranito por la mañana, por lo tanto, tiene que eh, estar... Eh, Um, ya completo para la medianoche del día anterior. La fecha límite para terminar el examen medio, que también se llama el midterm, es el viernes 14 de abril antes de la medianoche. Ok, entonces es, es, eh, vamos a puntualizar eso, que uh, tenemos que hacerlo antes de la medianoche. La fecha límite para terminar el examen final, o que también se llama final exam, es el viernes 28 de abril, antes de la medianoche. De hecho, el 28 de abril es el último día de clase, por lo tanto, tenemos que completarlo para entonces. Ok. ¿Alguna preguntita hasta el momento? Teacher, eh... En la semana de, de, bueno, los días de vacación de Semana Santa, ¿qué días son los que no se recibe clase? Sí, ya vamos a hablar acerca de eso en un momentito. Ya les voy a responder esa pregunta, ¿ok? Pero es una muy buena pregunta, ¿ok? Uh, y por último, el manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma. Si ustedes van a la plataforma, ustedes van a ver a la U. La última pestaña, ahí está para el, el manual y ustedes lo pueden descargar de ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, si alguien no lo puede descargar desde ahí, eh, se lo puedo mandar um, por el WhatsApp, pero normalmente por ahí puede hacerlo. Así que es, es bastante útil porque lo puede descargar ya uh, tanto a su computadora como a su celular. 
Y no se utilizan materiales de terceros en ninguna sesión. Eso significa de que no, vamos a, no podemos estar utilizando eh, uh, ya sea música o imágenes, todo que fuera, que no, que sean de, de, de un tercero, ¿verdad? Porque pues sabemos de que esto, estas clases se suben a a YouTube y por, y por lo tanto eh, pues todo tiene un uh, pues la palabra se me ha ido um, mm, se me ha ido la palabra pero eh, el derecho de autor es la palabra. entonces por eso es de que eh, no utilizamos un material de tercero eh, alguna preguntita ahorita acerca de tareas y evaluaciones Seguimos, entonces. No, pero que se enviara a todos los módulos anteriores. Uh -huh. Correcto, correcto, exacto. Ese es, esto es un repaso para la mayoría, sin embargo, hay quienes uh, no lo han escuchado todavía y o puede ser que, pues, tal vez ya estuvieron en el, en el modo, en otros modos anteriores, pero tal vez tuvieron, no estuvieron el primer día, entonces, por lo tanto, es importante yeah. recordar esto. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Ok, requerimientos. Primeramente, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. Esto es muy importante. Y de hecho, ahorita mismo voy a cesar ese punto porque veo que hay algunos que no tienen su nombre completo. Su nombre de, debe de ser el nombre completo que aparece en su DUI. Ok, entonces eh, tiene que ser, si en su DUI aparecen dos nombres, eh, debe de ser los dos nombres. Si aparecen dos apellidos, debe de ser los dos apellidos. Si aparece un apellido de casada, también debe de ser ese, nombre, uh, ese apellido de casada. Entonces, les voy a pedir ahorita que si usted no tiene, si no, no le aparece su nombre completo tal como aparece en su DUI, que haga el cambio. ¿Cómo puede ser el cambio? Bueno, eh, de hecho voy a dejar de compartir por un momento, solo porque quiero enseñarles, es, creo que es más fácil si lo hacemos así. Si usted está de, desde la computadora, usted va a poder ver de que hay varios cuadritos, ¿verdad? Entonces cada cuadrito es su compañero y, y hay un cuadrito que es a donde está su cámara, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted um, va al cuadro donde aparece usted, eh, su, su cámara, va a ver que hay, hay tres puntitos, ¿verdad? En la parte superior derecha. En esa parte superior derecha, le da clic y en la parte de abajo, bueno, se le va a, va a ver un, una barra, ¿verdad? Y en la parte de abajo va a decir, ya sé si está en español, va a decir... Eh, creo que renombrar y si está en inglés dice rename, entonces usted le da ahí clic a esa partecita, se le abre ahí otra pestaña, un, un, no una pestaña, pero un, un, una casilla, digamos, y entonces ahí usted um, va a poder ya hacer el cambio para su nombre completo, ¿ok? Si usted está desde el celular, <coughs> La manera como lo va a hacer es que va a ir donde dice participantes. Y ahí en participantes ya le va a aparecer su nombre. Le da clic ahí en su nombre y eh, le, uh, le va a aparecer la opción de cambiar nombre. Entonces, eh, si me hacen todos ese favor para que estemos con su nombre completo. Eh, Jorge Vela, no sé si está usted ahí. Jorge Vela. Bueno, si pueden, por favor, siempre asegurarse de poner su, de encender su cámara, ¿verdad? Para que podamos saber que sí están ustedes allí. Eh, creo que además de Jorge Vela, creo que todos ya 
renombraron ahí para que den su nombre completo. Así es que muchísimas gracias. Ok, muy bien. Ah, así que ya ustedes ya saben cómo hacerlo. Esto les, les, les um, acuerdo que es algo que tienen que ustedes asegurarse cada vez que ustedes entran en la plataforma de Zoom. Eh, revisen cómo están registrados su nombre para que no tengan que hacer el cambio después. Pero si acaso por X motivo no pueden hacer el cambio al principio, pueden hacer el cambio nuevamente así como lo hemos hecho el día de hoy. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna preguntita sobre eso? ¿No? No, only clear. Ok, muy bien. Entonces vamos a continuar ahí con donde estamos. Eh, eh, ok, en el caso, seguimos, en el caso de oyentes, tenemos que agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Ah, quiero aclarar este punto. Cuando dice oyente, no significa de que usted eh, va a estar en la clase y no va a estar participando y solo va a estar escuchando. Eso, <coughs> perdón, no se, re, ay, no se refiere a eso cuando es oyente. Se refiere al hecho de que um, a veces hay personas en el, en el grupo, aunque ahorita en este momento no existe, pero puede ser que por qué motivo tal vez alguien más se agregue al grupo. Son personas que por X motivo no pudieron, eh, no lograron uh, inscribirse al módulo y por lo tanto, de acuerdo a Insafor, no están inscritos en el módulo. Pero que esas personas eh, pues las agrega para que puedan estar presentes en la clase y luego cuando termina el módulo poder agregarlos al próximo módulo. Si ese es su caso, usted va a saber, ¿verdad? No es que de, no, no se sepa, ¿verdad? Quién es eh, oyente y quién no es, eh, sino que le van a informar. Entonces, mire, usted va a estar por este modo, solo por este modo va a estar usted como oyente porque pues no, por X motivo no logró inscribirse, pero para que usted no pierda la oportunidad, pues vamos a hacer la excepción y vamos a agregarlo. Es algo que Insafor um, es un, una modalidad que, nos, que Insafor permite para que ustedes tengan la oportunidad de poder continuar con el programa, ¿verdad? Porque a veces sucede que, eh, por ejemplo, para que para que haya nuevamente el mismo módulo, tendría que esperar mucho tiempo. Entonces, para que no, no tenga ese conveniente, se le hace esa, eh, esa diferencia, ¿verdad? Y la próxima parte, bueno, entonces, perdón, antes que, que continuemos con, con, con el próximo eh, punto, eh, si acaso en, un, en algún módulo usted le toca ser oyente, va a poner entre paréntesis, va a poner la palabra oyente eh, después que ha puesto su nombre. Por ejemplo, en el caso mío, mi nombre es Jessica Lisset Guerrero Lara. Entonces, uh, si yo fuera participante, me pondría Jessica Lisset Guerrero Lara y después en paréntesis oyente. Ok, entonces eh, sería algo así. Solo para hacerles la, el, la demostración, sería algo así. Ahorita se las muestro. No sé si pueden ustedes visualizar ahorita cómo aparece mi nombre. Lo voy a yes. hacer un poquito más, más corto para que sea más, más fácil de ver. Ahí está. Ustedes pueden ver cómo aparece mi nombre ahorita, ¿verdad? Entonces, así es como tendría que aparecer su nombre en, el, en tal caso de que usted fuera un oyente. ¿Ok? 
¿Alguna preguntita sobre eso? ¿No? Ok, muy bien. Bueno, okay, en, perfecto. Ahora, eh, este eh, próximo punto es muy importante. Debe de tener su cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Eso no es un reglamento que en eh, compartido se eh, ha inventado, ¿verdad? No es para hacerle la vida imposible, sino que es un requerimiento de INSAFOR. Le, y ellos piden que siempre su cámara esté encendida y la razón por esto es porque, eh, pues, um, primeramente necesitamos saber que usted realmente está en la clase, ¿verdad? Porque uh, no queremos tener participantes que de repente simplemente se desaparecen y, y a saber si están ahí, si están recibiendo la clase o no. Y acuérdese que ellos es prácticamente un, un programa de... Um, es un programa de, de, de una beca, por así decirlo, ¿verdad? Ellos le están uh, patrocinando ese, ese, eh, esta oportunidad y entonces, por lo tanto, lo mínimo que ellos piden es que usted realmente esté presente en la clase. Eh, por lo tanto, para poder saber si realmente usted está ahí, necesitamos su cámara encendida en todo momento. Puede, haber, puede ser que de repente por en, a o B motivo, tenga que pagarla unos momentitos, pero será solamente momentito, ¿verdad? No, no será toda la sesión, ¿verdad? O un gran parte de la sesión, sino que tal vez unos minutitos que algo pasó, ¿verdad? Eso es, eso es entendible, pero en realidad debemos de tener siempre nuestra cámara encendida. Eh, también debemos de minimizar el sonido ambiental lo más pos posible. Acordémonos de que cada quien está en su, eh, en su propia casa o en su propio entorno, ¿verdad? Y alrededor suyo va a saber eh, distractores, ¿verdad? Tal vez eh, otras personas que están en su casa o, o tal vez ustedes están en la calle, hay ruidos alrededor. Y entonces si no mantenemos... Eh, por ejemplo, los micrófonos apagados, cuando no estamos hablando, se va a filtrar ese, ese sonido y por lo tanto no vamos a poder escuchar. Eh, entonces va, va a ser muy difícil y si todo lo tenemos encendido, nadie, nadie va a escuchar a nadie. ¿verdad? Entonces por eso es importante, si usted no está participando, por favor asegúrese que su micrófono esté apagado. Si usted va a participar, asegúrese que su micrófono lo encienda y luego lo apague cuando haya terminado de participar. Y por último, debe haber una participación activa. Acuérdense que este es un curso de idioma. Entonces, la única forma de aprender un idioma es practicándolo. No hay otra forma. Entonces, si usted no participa activamente, difícilmente va a poder realmente aprender el idioma. Así que necesitamos siempre su participación activa. ¿Alguna preguntita sobre esto? No. Entendido, teacher. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Como, como les decía anteriormente, habrá momentos en que sí vamos a, poder, o sea, tenemos que apagar la cámara por X motivo, pero que sea algo corto, ¿verdad? Porque, y no es porque, le digo, no es que, que queremos hacer su vida imposible, ¿verdad? O, entonces, sino que es porque Insapop lo pide así. Y acuérdense que estos videos son auditoriados, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, ellos van a estar revisando que realmente usted está eh, presente en clase, ¿verdad? Que usted está con sus cámaras encendidas. Y si no lo están, entonces eh, va a haber una llamada de atención. Entonces, por eso es de que desde ahorita le pedimos que nos ayuden ahí que, colaborando con eso. Okay. Una pregunta. Sí, sí, díganme. Este, bueno, no sé si igual les pasará a otros, pero a veces de, viniendo del trabajo nos queda como un poquito tiempo de cenar. Habría problema en que, digamos, en un ratito podamos cenar sin interrumpir la clase. Eh, ¿De cuánto tiempo estamos hablando? Unos 10 minutos. Tal vez solo apagar la cámara mientras tanto, pero seguir escuchando. Y si tenemos que participar... 
hacerlo, ¿verdad? Pero, pero tratar de que sí podamos eh, comer, porque sí, a mí me, me va a pasar en algunas ocasiones, ¿verdad? Que, no, que, se, que también... Sí, de, de vez en cuando no hay problema, ¿verdad? Y como le digo, unos minutitos, pero que estemos así como 20, 30 minutos así, no, ¿verdad? No, 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 no sería posible, ¿verdad? Pero o sea, unos cuantos minutos, ¿verdad? No hay problema, ¿verdad? Uh, y si, por ejemplo, um, una bebida, no hay problema, usted puede tomarse su bebida, ¿no? No hay ningún inconveniente. ¿Ok? Ok, ¿alguna otra preguntita que tengan? Continuamos entonces. Eh, ok. Asistencia al 100% de las clases. Debemos de tomar en cuenta que necesitamos también a la asistencia para poder pasar el curso. O sea que no podemos simplemente pensar de que voy a completar la plataforma, voy a tener un 100% y... Eh, pues ya estuvo, ya, ya yo puedo pasar el curso. No, necesitamos tener el 100% de la clase, ¿ok? Entonces necesitamos, para tener el 100%, significa que tenemos que estar en clase al principio de la clase y terminar hasta el final, los 120 minutos, ¿verdad? Por eso dice cumplir con los 120 minutos de clase genera asistencia efectiva para cada sesión. Entonces, si usted... Está en todas las clases, pero se está conectando media hora tarde. Obviamente, eso significa que son 30 minutos menos en cada sesión. Y al final, no le va a dar es, es, esa cantidad. ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso sé que necesitamos que usted se conecte todos los días, que sea posible. De repente, a veces sé que, que algo pasa, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé, le dijeron que tenía que quedarse en en el trabajo a terminar algo, esas cosas suceden, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso de que es algo um, normal, algo que, es, que, que, que debemos de contemplar, ¿verdad? Y, y por lo tanto, eh, debemos de tener, tomar eso en cuenta. Por eso es de que es importante que eh, usted siempre se conecte Sí, al menos que sea algo de fuerza mayor, que no deje de, de conectarse, ¿ok? Y sabéis, la asistencia se toma en dos ocasiones mínimo. Por ejemplo, más o menos a las 8 y 20, ¿verdad? Más o menos, no, no, no exactamente a las 8 y 20, pero más o menos como es ahora, puede ser un poco antes, un poco después. Y luego también como las 9 y 40, nuevamente no tiene que ser exactamente 9 y 40, puede ser antes, un poco después. Le digo, les digo esto de antemano, que puede ser antes o después, porque no es que solamente nos vamos a conectar a esas horas, ¿verdad? Y pensar, ah, pues ya estuvo con asistencia. ¿Por qué? De hecho, la plataforma le está tomando minuto por minuto cuánto usted se está conectando. O sea, que no puede simplemente conectarse a horas y decir, ah, pues, como ya dije que estoy presente, ya, ya no tengo que estar conectado. No, porque la, la, la plataforma le registra cuántos minutos usted estuvo conectado en toda eh, la sesión, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, si usted solo se conectó cinco minutos, cinco minutos le va a registrar. Entonces, por eso es de que importante que usted esté en toda la sesión. También se tomará como válida al escuchar el participante decir presente y tener cámara encendida. Por eso nuevamente les explico que es importante tener su cámara encendida, ¿verdad? Porque eh, tenemos que tomar asistencia. ¿Por qué se hace así? Porque pues primeramente necesitamos saber que usted está ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, que en realidad usted está... Um, ¿verdad? en clase y que realmente sea usted, ¿verdad? Porque cualquiera puede ser presente, ¿verdad? Pero si vemos su, su cara, decimos, ah, sí, es la persona correcta. Y por último, la sesión es de uno a uno, están disponibles y cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador. Entonces, al finalizar la clase, tenemos... Eh, 
10 minutos disponibles para que ustedes puedan hacer preguntas y todo, pero esto va a ir en orden. O sea, es que vamos a empezar con la primera persona en la lista. Mañana vamos a hacer la segunda persona. El miércoles la tercera. El, el jueves en la cuarta el viernes la quinta y así sucesivamente, ¿verdad? Hasta que completemos todos y luego cuando ya hemos hecho una vuelta empezamos nuevamente, ¿verdad? O si hay alguien que dice, mire, yo, yo quiero este día. También podemos, si por ejemplo, por qué motivo usted mm, faltó a su sesión, podemos reponerla después de que todos hayan eh, tenido, eh, tenido oportunidad de, de de tener su, sus 10 minutos o si hay alguien que quiere um, uh, cambiar con usted también se puede hacer y esto también es importante que ustedes se tengan en cuenta que no hay permisos disponibles ¿qué significa eso? que aunque usted me diga eh, mire dicho fíjese que no puedo estar en clase porque me tocó trabajar eh, no es que yo le pueda decir yo no, yo no tengo la autorización para decirle sí, no hay problema lo que puedo hacer es bueno, tomar nota, ¿verdad? puedo poner una nota fulanito avisó que no podía no podía estar en casa por tal, tal razón pero en sí que yo le puedo decir sí, no hay problema, tomas el día tomas el tiempo, no hay problema eso sí, no tengo yo la autorización de hacer, solamente ISAFOR puede hacer eso, ¿verdad? y ellos no me han dado autorización para que yo les pueda decir si sí, falte este día no sé si está claro ese punto yo solo tengo un, un comentario uh -huh. este, con respecto a eso eh, yo he hablado con las personas de inglés corporativo uh -huh. que todos los martes yo estoy inscrita en otras clases. Entonces, yo esas clases las termino a las nueve de la noche. Entonces, yo siempre, siempre, siempre los martes me he conectado de nueve a diez. Porque, eh, o sea, se me es imposible uh -huh. conectarme a, la, a las ocho. Entonces, uh -huh. sí me conecto, pero me conecto hasta las, hasta las, hasta las nueve. Y entonces y, ellos sí son sabedores y siempre, siempre, cada vez que me preguntan si me voy a inscribir al siguiente módulo, les hago ver eso de nuevo y me dicen que, que sí, o sea, que está bien. Okay. Uh -huh. Eso es todos los martes, dice. Todos los martes, sí. Ok, ok. Bueno, entonces, eh, tenga presente también eh, que eso significa de que serían cinco horas descontadas, ¿verdad?, de... De, de total y por lo tanto tiene que tener mucho cuidado eh, de por ejemplo conectarse siempre a tiempo con las otras clases verdad y así para sí. que no eh, para que no le genere eh, a problemas con a la hora ya de, de hacer los minutos el conteo de minutos que usted necesita para poder pasar para eso es todo Uh -huh. eh, fíjense que, o sea, realmente yo me conecto porque me conecto del teléfono, pero no es como que esté participando, ni siquiera soy ni de oyente ni de nada, solamente estoy conectado. Entonces es como que a veces pasa lista y si no puedo responder porque yo tengo clases presenciales. Ok, en tal caso uh -huh. necesito que, porque muy probablemente yo no me voy a acordar, entonces necesito que me mande un mensajito para también yo tener presente eso, porque cuando hago los, uh, los grupos reducidos, necesito tomar eso en cuenta, ¿verdad? Porque no la voy a poner con alguien para trabajar como pareja si usted no va a estar ahí participando, ¿verdad? Entonces, si sí. usted me dice de antemano, mire, teacher, fíjese que hoy es mi clase y me voy a conectar hasta tal hora. Entonces, eh, así yo tomo eso presente, lo, lo tomo ahí en cuenta y al pongo a, a esa persona con otra, otra persona para que trabaje. Ok. okay. Gracias. Mm. Y gracias ahí por decírmelo. Um, ¿Alguna otra preguntita? Ok. Creo que es... Ah, ok. Eh, Zoom. Eh, un ya hemos hablado un poquito acerca de esto. Zoom tiene un botón de silencio. Asegúrense que su botón de silencio esté accionado para que no tengamos esos ruidos 
de su ambiente, ¿verdad? Que estén filtrándose ahí en la casa, porque si no vamos a tener problemas para escucharnos. Entonces, si usted participa, excelente, levante su mano, le damos la palabra, termina de decir su, su comentario y apaga su micrófono. Eh, la cámara, ya hemos hablado, es verdad que también está la, la, el botón de cámara de, de encendida, que debe, esa sí debe de estar siempre encendida uh, para que uh, podamos verlo. Eh, y um, a veces, ah, una, otra cosa más que quería mencionar, cuando ustedes están conectados desde su el celular, eh, y se van, digamos, a, otro, a otra aplicación. Eh, por decirle algo, usted está conectado a su celular en Zoom y se va al manual, va, va, va a abrir su manual. Lo que, lo que hace Zoom es que apaga su cámara eh, automáticamente. Entonces, eh, ya después ya no lo podemos ver. Así de que toma eso en cuenta de que um, tú tienes que nuevamente aprender uh, la cámara para que podamos verlo. Esto solo sucede en, desde, el, desde el celular. Si usted está en computadora, no hay problema. Pero si usted se hace eso en su celular, al irse a otra aplicación, automáticamente se cierra la, la, la cámara. ¿Ok? Eh, también en Zoom tenemos el botón de chat. Oh, perdón, el, el, la opción de chat que, que está también en la barra de herramientas. Ahí está, usted puede um, apretarlo y usted puede mandar ya sea un, un, um, un mensaje a toda la clase o a mí personalmente. Eh, eso lo vamos a estar utilizando bastante, ¿verdad? A veces les voy a decir que si pueden poner alguna palabra, entonces, vamos a poder todos ver eso en el chat. Pero es, ojo con esto, este chat, cuando nosotros, um, bueno, cuando se cierra, la, cuando termina la clase, ¿verdad? O, o se cierra una sesión para abrir otra, siempre se borra. Entonces, tengan cuidado con eso porque si tienen alguna información importante, eh, mejor hagan, eh, co uh, copien y lo ponen a otro lugar porque si no se las va a borrar, ¿ok? Y um, vamos a estar utilizando breakout rooms o lo que se llama en español um, uh, cuartos reducidos, ¿verdad? Um, que significa de que vamos a estar eh, trabajando en pequeños grupos y yo les voy a estar mandando para que para una sesión aparte, para que ustedes puedan trabajar en su grupo o en pareja y luego después regresamos a la sesión principal. Eh, eso, por si acaso alguien no lo ha experimentado enteramente, yo lo comparo como que estuviéramos en una, eh, en una escuela, en un aula, todos, todos estamos en un aula, juntitos, ¿verdad? Y después yo digo, ok, fulanito, venganito y... y y fulanitas se van a hacer un grupo y se van a ir a otro cuarto. Entonces, y después en 10 minutos regresamos al mismo cuarto. Entonces, es, es igual, solo que es una forma virtual. Y algo importante aquí es el botón de ayuda. Eh, ¿Alguien no sabe qué es esto de este botón de ask for help? ¿O el botón de pedir ayuda? ¿Alguien no sabe qué es esto? ¿Todos saben esto? Esto es cuando ustedes están en el, dentro de los cuartos reducidos o el breakout room. Si usted, por qué motivo, necesita que yo, que yo los visite, ¿verdad? Porque voy a estar yendo de, 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 de cuarto en cuarto. Entonces, si usted necesita ayuda, usted le aprieta ese botón y a mí me, me aparece una... una eh, una notificación que fulanito de tal grupo está pidiendo ayuda y yo puedo entonces ingresar a ese grupo para ayudarles. Esto es muy útil si, por ejemplo, a veces puede ser que eh, usted 
estén confundidos. Miren, ¿qué, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? No se queden ahí haciendo nada, ¿ok? Por favor, no, no se queden así que eh, ah, no sabemos qué hacer, ah, pues no vamos a quedar esperando hasta que la teacher venga. No, piden ayuda para que yo pueda ingresar y pueda entonces responderles sus preguntas. También esto es útil cuando a veces de repente, por ejemplo, los pongan pareja y de repente por qué motivo su pareja eh, se fue y está solito, no se quede solito, pide ayuda para que, por, si, si no ingreso, pero yo veo que está solito, automáticamente yo le voy a poner a otro grupo para que usted este pueda tener su pareja, ¿ok? Y por último, respeto ante todo, ¿verdad? Todos necesitamos eh, ser respetados, todos merecemos ser respetados, eh, tanto usted como sus compañeros, como yo como, como profesora. Entonces, eh, hacemos, hacemos muy bien en uh, tener cuidado con, um, con nuestras palabras, ¿verdad? Cómo nos expresamos, ¿verdad? Hacia el compañero, hacia el profesor. Y así podemos todos eh, tener una buena armonía, ¿verdad? En nuestra clase. Y lo último es esto. ¿Qué es esto? Que estamos respondiendo a esa preguntita que hacíamos anteriormente. ¿Cuáles son las fechas correspondientes? En la primera semana... La sección 1 se va a estar dando desde el 20 al 24 de marzo. Empezamos hoy, terminamos el 24 de marzo. Entonces, por favor, entreguen la sección 1 de la plataforma para el 24 de marzo a la medianoche. La segunda semana va del 27 de marzo al 14 de abril. Ustedes van a ver que esto es largo. ¿verdad? Por eso se le está dando la sección 2 y el metro. Las dos cosas juntas tienen que estar entregando eh, ya para el 14 de abril. ¿Por qué el 14 de abril? Porque para empezar, la sección 2 normalmente lo hacemos en dos semanas. Ustedes quizás ya empezaron a notar eso, ¿verdad? Que eh, cuando... Um, que la, la segunda sección siempre se toma dos semanas. Entonces, normalmente hacemos dos semanas, pero en este caso no vamos a hacer dos semanas, vamos a hacer tres semanas. ¿Alguien sabe por qué? Correcto, por la semana de vacaciones que vamos a tener, que va a ser la semana completa. Okay. Va a ser desde lunes a viernes. Entonces, eh, contemplando esa semana de lunes a viernes, que si no estoy mal, empiez, empezaría desde el 3 al 7 de abril. Entonces, como toda esa semana no vamos a tener clase, entonces eh, tenemos que contemplar eso en esa sección y por eso, por eso sé que se corre hasta el 14 de abril. ¿Está claro? ¿Alguna preguntita sobre eso? No. ¿No? Ok, muy bien. La, la semana 3 empezaría entonces desde el 17 de abril hasta el 21 de abril. Esa sería la sección número 3. Ok. Y por último tenemos la, la última que es la sección 4 junto con el final exam es el 24 al 28 de abril. El 28 de abril es el último de clase. Si no hay atrasos, esperamos que no haya ningún atraso. Y por lo tanto, entonces estaríamos finalizando toda la plataforma ese día. Ahora, tomar en cuenta que esto es, esos son fechas mínimas para poder completar es, es cada sección. 
Esto no significa que usted no pueda continuar. Por ejemplo, es la, estamos en la semana 1. Solo porque, porque el 24 de marzo tengo que entrar a la sección 1, no significa que no puedo ya empezar con esto. Yo puedo empezar con esto. Es más, si yo quiero, puedo terminar toda la plataforma esa misma semana. Ok, de hecho, les, les, les um, recomendamos que ustedes puedan, eh, pueden avanzar cuanto se pueda en la plataforma. ¿Por qué? Porque de, para que no estén al final um, haciendo todo a última hora, sino que si ustedes pueden avanzar en la plataforma, excelente, no hay problema. Ok, tengo una preguntita sobre eso. ¿No? ¿Ninguna pregunta? Ninguna, teacher. Ok. Ok. Entonces, eh, tomen eso en cuenta de que eh, ustedes pueden con mucho gusto empezar a trabajar ahí eh, desde el día de hoy a um, toda la plataforma si quieren. Um, especialmente con los les, les recomiendo en, especialmente con los um, eh, con los um, ¿cómo se llama? con los eh, con el, el, los exámenes que son el, el midterm y el final exam les recomiendo eh, que puedan hacer que puedan hacerlo poco a poco eh, desde ahorita, no, no, no tienen que esperar hasta completar la sección 2. Empiecen desde ahorita a hacer la, eh, el, el, el midterm, por ejemplo, para que mm, puedan, uh, puedan ir avanzando lo más que se pueda. Y de esa forma también se les va a hacer más fácil porque ustedes van a ver que en la plataforma hay muchos ejercicios que son iguales, ¿verdad? En, tanto en la sección 1 como en el midterm. Entonces, les sirve de una sola vez. ¿Alguna preguntita que quieren hacer? No question. No? No, teacher. ¿Es clear? Yes, for me it's clear. Ok. Perfect. Um, ok, entonces, estamos claros cómo vamos a trabajar, ¿verdad? Okay. Y por supuesto, um, oh, otra cosita antes que empecemos. Quiero saber, todos ya se, eh, ya se inscribieron o oh, mucho ya se agregaron um, a, el, a el grupo de WhatsApp. Yes. ¿Sí? ¿Todos? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, so everybody's in the group. If if there is somebody that is not in the group, remember the link is in the email that was sent. Okay, so all the links that you need there are there. Okay, the, for the platform, for the WhatsApp, for the YouTube channel, right, for the playlist. Oh, remember that, that um, every day uh, I'm going to be uploading the videos to the YouTube playlist. That means that if for whatever reason you cannot be in class, I encourage you to watch the video the next day so that you're not lost, okay? Because many times we do not, um, a, yeah, many, many times, uh, we are, we're not in class and we're completely lost. What are we doing? What is what's happening? So in order not to be lost, I encourage you to watch the video of the, uh, the day before. You don't have to watch the whole video. Um, you know, like for example, sometimes there will be parts where there are, you have your classmates that are, that are doing some activity in, in the groups and the 
breakout rooms, you don't have to be watching that. But at least the explanations that I give, I need you to to make sure that you 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 watch those. Okay, they will be um, on the playlist very early in the morning. Okay, so like the latest latest will be like I don't know nine o'clock, let's say something like that. So you know very early. So um, so you can always watch it. You have the whole day to watch the the video. Okay. Uh, so like yeah so you have in the email address you will in the email that they sent you sorry you will have um the platform the uh the link for for the whatsapp the youtube playlist and um what else and the one for and the and the uh the link also for the zoom okay Anything, any other questions you guys have? Anything you want to ask me before we begin? Or comment? Okay, all right, perfect. Actually, you know what, before we do begin, I just realized something. Um, so at the beginning of the class, I was um, saying hi to everybody. I was, um, you know, interviewing a little bit of some people, uh, where they live and everything. So, but um, I haven't introduced myself. So let me do that now that most people are here. Um, and just remind, just remind you guys that if we can turn on the camera, that'd be wonderful. So um, my name is Jessica Guerrero. Uh, I have been a, an English teacher for, let me think, oof, 18 years. <laughs> so it's been a while. Um, and I've been working with Inglés Corporativo for, uh, let me see, I think three years now. Three years. Um, and um, let me see, well, am I... Uh, this is what I can tell you about myself. Uh, my hobbies, I I like to watch uh, I like to watch series on Netflix and movies. Um, I love I I love traveling and sightseeing. I love the beach. Um, my favorite place in the world is the beach. Um, my dream is to have a a house on the beach. Um, and, um, my favorite color is purple. Uh, my favorite food, uh, let me think, I don't know, I have so many, but probably, uh, Greek food is probably my, my, my favorite food. Um, my favorite dessert is chocolate and my favorite drink is Coca-Cola. Yeah, <laughs> so that's, um, and um, let me see. I like to do exercise. I love dancing. It's my passion, dancing. And um, yeah, that's it. Do you guys have any questions you want to ask me? Anything at Where all? Where did you live? <laughs> Where do I live? Oh wow, this is a very interesting question. Um, I live very far. I live very, very far. Do you guys can you guess where I might live? I live very far. Any guesses? No, where do you where do you live? Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Oh. I, I, and I'm telling you, I live very far away. Can you guess where I might live? So it seems that you're living outside the country. I am. <laughs> yes, I'm living outside the country. <laughs> no, outside, outside of Salvador. Outside of Salvador? Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know. What am I? Far, farther than Guatemala. 
in Europe either? It's actually, yes, I am living in Europe. Yeah, the wow. And I guess Spain? Spain? No. Italy? Nope. Um, okay. more to the east it's actually it. I, i'm literally i'm lit okay i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you a good clue i'm literally living at the end of europe the last part of europe um, romania i guess it's morning yeah in your country. <laughs> yes it is it's 6 23 you, right now you look you look wake up. You look, uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of. Any ideas? It's at the end, literally at the end of Europe. Spain, Spain. Iceland. No, at the end. Island. No. Russia? You have to see the. You have to see the map, huh? Ukraine. Russia. Ukraine. No. <laughs> Australia. Sweden? No, I'm going to. I, I'll give you another tip. Um, if if I'm living in a I'm living in a city where I just cross a a strait and I'm on the other side of Asia. So it's it's the only city in the world that is that has two parts. One that is in Europe and one is, that is in Asia. That is Turkey. Russia. That is Russia. Somebody Russia. said it. Turkey. England. Yes. I'm living in Turkey. Uh, yes. Wow. Yes. Do you know what city in I'm living in? Interesting. Do you know what city I'm living in? Ankara? No. No. But, but, but you're aware for the earthquake. Yes, but that's very far away from where I live. Yeah, it's very, very far away. It's actually 800 kilometers away. So super far. Mm -hmm. I'm living in Istanbul. Istanbul. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Istanbul is actually the only city in the world that there is one side that is in Europe and the other side is in Asia. So there is a boss, like the Bosphorus is a strait that um, that divides Europe and Asia. So I just go across the ferry and I'm in ready in Asia. So um, uh, yeah, so it's now yeah, so I'm living in the European side of of Istanbul. Yes. Do you guys wow. have more questions? <laughs> it's, yeah. it's very far away. <laughs> Only a comment. Oh, no. hmm? Where are you from? Where am I from? Oh, I, I'm from El Salvador. I'm from El Salvador. Salvadorian. Yeah. I'm Salvador. How long are you? I, are you I think there? I I think I'm the only Salvadoran in all of Istanbul. Because people when <laughs> I when when people tell ask me where are you from, they're like, "Oh, where is that?" They don't know anything. They have, they don't know. They've never met a person from from El Salvador. So I think even even the officer when I came in through the airport, when he saw my passport, he didn't know where El Salvador was. So I think I'm the only Salvadorian in all of Istanbul. <laughs> you miss pupusa, don't you? Um. A little, yeah, a little. With coke. <laughs> yeah, no, there's coke here, <laughs> but, but, um, but yeah, not pupusa. There's no pupusas at all. And yeah. how long? How you been there? Not long, not long. Um, seven weeks. Oh. I've been here for seven weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions that you guys have? So it's definitely for living or, or just for a, a couple of months or something like that? That's what I hope. I hope to be able to live here. But it all depends because um, I need to be able to 
to get my permanent res my permit residency. Um, so that means that I have to wait to see what the government tells me. Mm -hmm. And what time is it here? Is it there? It's six twenty eight. Six twenty eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's it's dark. It's is that six, really? yeah, it's dark. Yeah, it's like it's nighttime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it starts to get light around seven fifteen or something. It starts to get light. Mm -hmm. But it but it um it gets dark late. It's it, like yesterday it got dark like at seven. Seven, yeah, about seven fifteen, seven thirty. Mm -hmm. Any other questions you guys have? No. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Well, if you guys have any more questions later on, you're free to ask me. Okay, so we're going to start with this. Uh, please tell me if you can see. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, I see. Wonderful. Okay. So we're going to start a class talking about gerunds. What do you know about gerunds? What are ger gerunds? Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the time of the bird with is present continue. Okay, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, the the present continuous uses gerunds, absolutely, yeah. The mm -hmm. verbs end with is I and G. Mm -hmm. Good, exactly. So the when we talk about gerunds, we're referring to the verb, oops, uh -oh. hold on, give me a moment. What happened here? Okay, I think I'm gonna use a different way. Otherwise, it's gonna move all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna do this instead. Okay, so when we're talking about gerunds, we're talking about the verb plus the ing. Okay, however. This is not always the continuous form, okay? So, uh, uh, so this is the form of the verb uh, with gerund. Now, um, uh, how do you say gerund in Spanish? How do you say gerund in Spanish? Hey, Gerundio. Very good. Okay. Now I want I want to address this important this important fact. In Spanish, when we say gerundio, we automatically think of a verb. Okay. So, uh, yo estoy comiendo, yo estoy dando clases, yo estoy aprendiendo inglés, blah 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 blah. Okay. So, there's always a verb that is involved. Okay. In English, gerunds, however, are not verbs. Okay, I'll repeat that again. In English, gerunds are not verbs. They are nouns that are made up or they are created using a verb plus an ing. Does that make sense? So gerunds are actually nouns that are made up or created by putting a verb with an ing. Together they make a gerund, which actually is a noun. This is important that you understand this because once you understand that a gerund is a noun and not a verb, it becomes a little bit easier to understand things. One of which is that 
it's not that we're putting two verbs together. No, we're putting a verb and a noun. Okay? So, um, yeah, so the thing about gerunds is that many verbs um, like to have a specific, uh, like to have gerunds after the verb, okay? So we always have verbs that after those, those verbs, we use a noun in the form of a gerund, okay? So those verbs are verbs like, they are these ones, but not, um, they are not the only ones, okay? These are just some of those. So we're, verbs like appreciate, avoid, consider, discuss, enjoy, keep, mind, mention, wit, and suggest. These are the verbs that after those verbs, we use normally a gerund. Okay, so examples of these, of this would be this. I appreciate having the company work towards a multicultural corporate environment. If you notice, we are going to start with the subject. In this case, we have I. And then we use one of these verbs, which in this case, we're using the, the verb appreciate, okay? After the verb appreciate, we use a noun, and the noun is in the form of a gerund, and the gerund in this case would be having. Okay, so I appreciate having the company work towards a multicultural corporate environment. Another one, manager, manager Park avoids making comments that may sound, that may sound, I guess this should have sounded for disrespectful. Yeah, should be disrespectful. Okay, so, um, here we have the subject is manager park. After that, we have one of these verbs. In this case, we have avoids. Oops, change the color, avoids. And after avoids, we usually use a noun in the form of a gerund. And that's why we can say making comments. That may sound, I think you should say disrespectful. That makes so much more sense than just respectful. Okay, so let me just change that so that you guys don't get confused. Okay. Next, the company considered hiring experts to enhance the relationship between employees. So I already helped you with the first two. Now I need you guys to help me. What would be the subject? In the letter C, what's the subject? The company. Very good. Thank you. The company. Oh, hold on. And after that, we have one of these verbs, right? Which is the verb that we used? Consider. Considered. Very good. Okay. 
And after that, we use a gerund. Which gerund did we use? Hiring. Hiring. Very good. Okay. Next, we enjoy working with people from different cultural backgrounds. What's the subject? We. Oui. Very good. We. Oui. What is the the verb from move here that we're using? Enjoy. Enjoy. Very good. And what is the gerund that we're using? Working. Working. Excellent. Next, people at the office keep talk keep talking about the new employee from Japan. They are trying to learn his language. Okay, so here we have what's the subject? People. Very good. People. People where? At the office. At the At office. office. Yeah. So all of this is actually the subject. Okay. So it's not people in general. It's specific people. It's people where? At the office, right? Okay. What's the sub? What's the verb? Keep. Keep. Very good. And what gerund are we using? I'm talking. Talking. Very good. And the last one is a true leader doesn't mind training people on cultural acceptance. What is the subject? A true, a true leader. A true That's leader. It. Very good. Actually, just this one, a true leader. What is the verb? Mind. Mind. Just mind? Doesn't mind. Doesn't, doesn't mind. mind. Very good. Doesn't mind. And what's the, so this doesn't mind come from here, right? This one, which is right here, okay. And what's the, the gerund? Training. Training, very good. Okay, good. So something I wanna call your attention to is this. First of all, the verb can be in any form. If you notice here, we use, we're using the simple present, appreciate. Um, here, we also use in the present, enjoy. This one here, keep, for a simple present, okay? It could also be in the past, like this one, considered, simple past. Or it can be the negative, like this one, doesn't mind. It, it doesn't matter. The verb doesn't matter at all. The verb can be in any form. Simple present, simple past, simple, a, a simple future, a present continuous, past continuous, present perfect, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, Negative, affirmative, it doesn't matter. But the verb, sorry, the gerund, that is always, that's never going to change. So having, making, hiring, working, talking, training. Now, just keep in mind that um, the rules to make gerunds. So we have the verb plus ing, right? But if, for example, in verbs like have, um, so verbs like have that finish in e, we can't simply put ing. Let me make this a little bigger. Okay, yeah. You guys can see that? Can you guys see where's what I where I put how? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So um so just remember that we can't simply use that simple rule of putting verb plus ing because if we use that, it would then it would be like this. And that's not right. So just remember that if we if the verb finishes an E. We have to eliminate the E and put ING, okay? The other rule to this, for this is that um, if in, if the, the, the verb is one syllable and it finishes in one vowel and one consonant, then we're gonna double the consonant and put ING. For example, like let. Okay, so let is one syllable and it finishes in one E, E, sorry, in one vowel E and one consonant. In that case, we're going to double the consonant. So it's going to look like this double T and then ING. 
Okay, so just remember those those rules so that we don't have any problems. Okay. Um, any questions so far about this? You sure? No questions at all? Really? So it's crystal clear. Claro como el agua o como horchata. I think it's clear. It's clear? I think. Eh, mm -hmm. So do, eh, with this type of construction, mm -hmm. it's me. Um, it's up to the the complete sentence we we have to to use when when i use one of these uh, verbs uh, i i uh, it's up to the 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 continue for the uh, the sentence mm -hmm. uh, i need to 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 put uh, the the, in this case, the verbs with with ing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No. Yeah. So, for example, number, the first one, let's say letter A. I appreciate having the company work towards multicultural corporate environment. It's only possible to use having because we are using the verb appreciate. So it's impossible for me to say to have. Oh, okay. Okay. With this, so, with appreciate. With appreciate, yeah, exactly. So we cannot say to have. That oh, okay. is impossible. Okay. We can't say to have. We have to say having. Why? Because we're using the verb appreciate. Remember, with these verbs, appreciate, avoid, consider, con discuss, enjoy, keep, mind, mention, quit, suggest, and the negative forms, right? Of those, we're going to be using always a gerund. Is it because this is a rule? It's a rule. Yeah, okay, it's, it's a, a rule. rule. Now, these are not the only verbs that use uh, gerunds. Mm -hmm. As as it says here, these are the most common. That's what they are. The They're just simple. Common. Yeah, these are just simple. There are more. The, oh, yeah, there are much more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to know. Okay, yes. So these are the most common. There's a big list. But right now, I don't want you to concentrate on all the possible um, verbs that use gerunds because it would be, you would feel but overwhelmed. In, the, in this case, teacher, in this case, if it's just for, it's only for the rule because uh, I, I, don't, I don't say in Spanish. Eh, yo agradezco teniendo la compañía. Es, es, es por, la, por, la, por la regla, ¿verdad? Que, que debe ir el verbo en ING. Porque en realidad... En Spanish, es, es, actually, en Spanish, should be more like, yo agradezco... Uh -huh. eh, um, appreciate having the company work towards... Eh, yo agradezco um, que la compañía, it's like something like that. Yo agradezco que la compañía eh, trabaje hacia una, eh, un ambiente multicultural, uh, un, ambi uh, un ambiente corporativo multicultural. Mm -hmm. But that's in Spanish, right? In yeah. English, it's, it's different. We need to use... After that, appreciate, we would need to be using always a gerund. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions that you guys have? Like I said, yes, there are more verbs, but I don't want to overwhelm you with the verbs. I will send you later, I will send you a list of other verbs that we use with gerunds, but at this point, point, I think if you can memorize 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten verbs, that's pretty good, right? If you can memorize at least these ten most common verbs, you've, you've got it, okay? Once you've got those ten, we can memorize another ten, right, and so forth. But right now, start small, okay? Do you guys have any other questions about this? No? It's crystal clear? Okay. All right. So what I'm going to ask you to do then is I need, you're going to be working in a, in small groups. Okay. And what I need you guys to do is to finish off this, this um, exercise. So it's order the words to make sentences. Use the correct form of the underlined verb. Compare your choices with a partner. So all we're going to do is put these, these words in the correct order. So we have, for example, number one, he considers communication in the workplace, make diversity and his presentation about. We can do this one together just so that you guys get the idea of what we're going to be doing. So how would this sentence go? He considers making his presentation about diversity and communication in the workplace. He considers. Okay, good. So after remember, after consider, consider is one of those verbs that always have a gerund. So we have to use um, a gerund. <clears throat> in this case, we're using it for make. So it would be making. Remember, we eliminate the E. So he considers making um, his presentation about communication in the workplace. Oh, wait a second, we're missing one. He considers his presentation about communication. No, it's about, sorry, about diversity. Diversity and communication in the workplace. Okay, that would be number one. Sounds good, guys? Do we understand what we're supposed to do? I think it's, it's right. Yeah. Okay, so this is, so the, the instructions are clear? Yeah? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get you guys to um, work in, in, in small groups, and you're going to complete exercise number two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, um, and I understand that not everybody probably has um, the manual uh, downloaded yet, so I will share the um I will share in your in in the WhatsApp group. I will share the uh, the image so you guys can have it. Okay, but right now I'm going to give you. I'm going to be dividing everybody into small groups. So just give me a moment. Okay. All right, and I'm going to give you about yeah about ten minutes. Okay, let's open all the rooms. Hi guys. Um do you have the do you have the picture uh, from the manual? No. 
Okay. I'm waiting the picture on the WhatsApp group. Okay, okay. Um, let me. I'm just waiting for the the WhatsApp web to open up for me. So just give me a moment, okay. and I will, and I'll send it. Um, in the meantime, you can also make sure that you download the the manual. Okay. So can you guys do that while I'm waiting for this thing to to fully open up? Okay. I will send it as soon as as soon as it's open. Okay. I'm going to go see the other groups. Object. Click on the verb with theorem. There are some structure to to follow. Okay. For example, the first sentence is he considers making. Yeah, the subject he he considers the verb in the room making. Mm -hmm. Is the order the sentence is for them? Mm -hmm. Okay, I I can see the the manual, but I'm here. That you say. The next one, which is the next one? Uh, it is sorry. Is the second sentence of? Hi guys, I think you are on mute. I can't hear you. Hello. Hello. Are you working with each other? Yeah, I'm just downloading the study manual. Oh, okay. Um, the picture is in the WhatsApp group too. Yes, but the thing I guess it is taking a little bit time to uh to open up. Okay, yeah, I understand. Okay. All right. Oh, um, I guess just for the distance, I guess. Okay, no, no problem. Hmm. Number eleven. Yep. The boss kept okay. insisting. The boss. Es que los verbos, los verbos que van a ir en I and G ahí están marcados. Sí. Mm -hmm. I have the number four. The the boss okay. kept the insisting. Number, the number four. Number four is the boss. Kept... Definitely, this is the subject. Mm -hmm. The boss is the subject. Subject uh, kept insisting. Insists. Oh yes, yes. We had communication issues with the new employees. Insisting. We had com we have we had communi com communication we had issues communication issues with the, with the new employees. The employees. Okay, okay, very good. We have uh, you got it, Susie? 
me estoy metiendo a la plataforma a ver si puedo. With the new employees. Es que en la plataforma sí está el, el verbo ya en ING. Mm -hmm. En la plataforma. En la plataforma. Sí, en la plataforma ya está en ING, no hay que hacerlo en gerundio. Y aquí sí. En, pero pero le estoy hablando en el trabajo en el en la uh -huh, uh -huh. En tarea ya yeah. tarea en la tarea sí ya está con ing no hay que hacerlo Ok, number five lo tiene lo tiene eso sí pero me voy a meter al libro mejor es mejor así trabajamos igual uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you have it? Tengo lento el internet, no me carga. Es que descarga los sushi. Susi, usted puede. Sí, lo voy a... Ajá, lo voy a descargar. Y ella le va a quedar para que. Es que con el internet es más complicado, mejor descargarlo. Uh -huh. Ok, veamos el número 5. Eh, ok. Artur, el... A ver qué nos, qué nos dice en lo que está ahí uh, 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 para poner al día. Sí, yes. Eh, number 5 number is. She didn't mind. Sí. Okay. Participating from abroad along thing. She didn't mind. She didn't mind participating participating mm -hmm. mind what the mind participating. Mm -hmm. participating. From abroad along teams. From from abroad along teams. Mm Okay, guys, are you finished? Probably not, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured. Um, but I brought you guys back because our time has run out. So don't worry. Uh -huh. Only one, the number six. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. No worries because tomorrow we'll, we'll, I'll give you more chance to, to, to do it. Also. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, so before we finish, let me take attendance. Um, Christian, uh, uh, Christian, Natalie, a present teacher. Wonderful. Um, Delbert Arturo. Here I am. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Diana Elizabeth. Diana Elizabeth. Jennifer Elizabeth. Here. Okay, wonderful. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Wonderful. Eh, por, um, por el, para mañana le puedo pedir que me um, se asegure que su nombre salga completo, um, así como, como en su DUI. ¿Ok? Solamente okay. eso para el día de mañana. Uh, Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. María Elena. 
Maria Elena Guadalupe. Okay. okay. Wonderful. Um, eh, Mario Ernesto. Mario Ernesto. No. Okay. Norma Carolina. I'm oh, sorry, perdón. Okay, excellent. Y se me escapó también Mario José, no, Mario José Valle. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, uh, Romario Gamaliel. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Silvia Suleima. Present teacher. Okay, very <clears throat> good. Susana Beatriz. Susana Beatriz. Present teacher. Good. Y Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, so that will be all for today. Uh, remember, but prácticamente, the only thing that I'm going to ask you guys to do for homework is to check that you have access to the platform. Make sure all your accesses are okay so that um, tomorrow um, I'm sure that everybody... Um, is okay with the platform and all the other accesses, okay? All right, so today I'm just going to stay with um, Cristina Dali, Natalie. And yeah, everybody else, okay. I will, okay, so we will have our 10 minute session. Other than that, everybody take care. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Blessings. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, Christia, how are you? Tired, teacher. <laughs> mm, I can imagine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, the, the good thing is that the day is almost over. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Have you had the opportunity of checking if you have um access at the platform? Uh, no, no, no. I I don't review that yet. Okay. Uh, do you mind if we do that right now so that we can get that over with? Do you do you uh, have? Do you have? Bit, can you do you mind if we can do that right now? Is it possible for us to do that now? Check right now so that we can get okay. that over with. Okay. Uh, give me a minute. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I have access. Okay, perfect. All right. So yeah. the platform is okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, very good. Um Excellent. Um, do you have any questions about the information that we saw today? Um, no. No? So everything no. is clear? You understand yes. gerunds is all clear? Yes, at this at this time, yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that I can help you with? Um no, I think no. Uh, I I just want to to practice and speak a lot. Okay, good. And and all and also, teacher, I need to to improve my 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 listening because I I sometimes I get some confused with some sentences. Yes, but but I I do my best. <laughs> I try to do my best. <laughs> That's the important thing. Um. By the way, do you like to be called um Christian or Natalie? Uh, both. both, whatever you want. Yeah. And in, in the class, what do the, your classmates call you? Eh, Cristia. <laughs> okay, Cristia. Okay, all right. So I'm going to call you Cristia because sometimes okay. when I call somebody by another name and I say, oh, uh, you know, Fulanita says this and people are like, who's that? You know, <laughs> so okay. it's better if I call you Cristia. Okay, all right. So, yeah. um, okay. so Cristia, um, do you um do you have somebody that you can practice with uh con like daily? Somebody like maybe uh, at home or at, or at work? 
Yes, actually my my work is in English. I I'm working uh well, I work with uh, Iron Man. I work in Iron Man mm -hmm. and I work for uh, two repair stations that are in the United States. So I I working with American people every single day and mm. and I yeah, but and, and I I have a lot to communicate with them, mm -hmm. but is is by email mm. and and so so I think I have a good writing <laughs> because oh, I cool. write in English every single day, but I I mean I speak with them. Uh huh. You you don't mm -hmm. you you don't, okay so so your writing is good. Mm -hmm. The uh, yeah yeah continue continue. You were saying. Uh, a few days ago mm -hmm. in the company they made made me uh English evaluation mm -hmm. and 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 I got the different scores and the different skills and and I have a good grade in speaking. I have uh ninety percent and for writing, I have eighty percent, but in my listening, I have forty percent. In listening, yes, because I I don't know why the records uh, that we listen in a uh, how do you say prueba mm, in, the in quiz a, in a test I don't know yes. Uh, uh huh. Are for me are difficult because I don't understand anything. Mm. I don't know in the in the record is for me it's difficult. But if I if I talk with you, mm -hmm. I understand you, and I think it's easier when you when when someone is, is speak to me is, is yes is it speak to me is is speaking to me is it speaking to me yeah. Okay, I see. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, the thing is that sometimes it's it's easier to to see things in context, right? And um, it, with the listenings when there's like quizzes and things like that, what happens is that um, they like may ask you like a comprehension questions, um, that are like a, a sp uh, about a specific information in the, the conversation so what i suggest you can do i'm going to send you right now through the chat this okay. website you got it uh give me a minute yes okay yes, Ella. Yes. yeah yeah so this is a very good website i recommend it to my students it's a very okay. good website because this website contains listening quizzes for all levels, beginners, intermediate, and advanced. Okay? okay. So we have, they they call it by easy, intermediate, difficult. Okay. okay. So you can decide, you can start with the, the, the easy ones. And I'm pretty sure that you're gonna find that they're really easy. So if you find that they're too easy, you're gonna you can go to the intermediate. If you find the intermediates okay. are too easy, then you go to the difficult ones, right? But um, the okay. you know, but you can go little by little. There are so many um, listening quizzes there, and what's nice is that you have a listening, uh, like a short conversation you know, maybe about a minute or something. And it's really short, but it's 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 like authentic. Um uh it's it's authentic um conversation. So they're not they're not slowing it down for you. It's not like, you know, because in real life people when they talk, they don't talk really, really slowly. It's for you to no. listen and hear and understand. No, they speak like you know, normally they would speak. So what's nice about these conversations is that it sounds like a real conversation. So the people are talking and pacing themselves and, and using like idioms and vocabulary that a native speaker would use. So 
um, it's easy for you to, or, or not, but I said not easy, but but it's it's um it's a good way to practice that that those listening skills, and then they have like usually five questions that they ask you about the listening. So and then they and you know they ask you the questions. You choose the answer. It's multiple choice, and you 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 choose the answers, and then it gives you a score. So you are able to see how well your listening skills are are getting, like if they're improving or not. And one more thing that is really nice about that is that you can after read the script. Mm -hmm. You can read the script so that you can um, understand even more. Like after you've done the quiz and everything, you can go back and read it and look at like find new vocabulary, new expressions, new idioms that um, that are in the conversation, the script, that is going to be helpful for you in the future. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah. So yeah. I hope that helps you. And um, yeah, let me let me know how that goes. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Anything else that I can help you with? Mm, no, I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, perfect. So in that case, um, yeah, I will let you go ahead and, and uh, relax and finish your day and so that you can um, get a good night's sleep. Thank you. And you have a good day because you are in the, or I don't know, in the other side of the world. Yes, yes. It's, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just getting sunny right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I really like to travel too. And I hope to, at the, at the end of the year, Mm -hmm. I, 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 um, I'm, a, I, right now I am studying a master mm -hmm. and I hope to graduate, to get the graduate in the Spain. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. So I hope to visit Spain at the end oh, of the year. Excellent. Very, yeah. very good. Well, I hope okay. you, you do and you enjoy yourself. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Well, take care and um, see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice Bye. to meet you. Bye-bye.